happy Friday. I hope you've had a great week and that you are looking forward to the weekend. I have a yoga routine for you today and we are actually going to start sitting down on our mats. So go ahead and have a seat and lengthen the legs out in front of you. We're going to inhale, bring the arms all the way up and exhale through the mouth, all the way down, reaching for the toes. And hold here. Again, breathing in through the nose and exhaling through your mouth. slowly roll up. We're going to bring the legs in. Knees are bent. Feet are together. Feet are about a foot away from the body. Hold on to your ankles here and inhale up. Exhale down through the mouth using your elbows to help lower your knees down towards the mat. Hold for five breaths here. forwards. So lean as far forwards as you can, keeping your hands clasped together. Again, five breaths. Okay, you can go ahead and release the arms down and switch the position of your leg. So left leg is straight now. Bring that right foot in close to the body. Take the right shoulder, place it on the inside of the knee. Place the right hand around the outside of the body. Left hand comes around, clasp those hands together. Again, by sitting up tall, five breaths here. And exhale, leaning forwards. Again, five breaths. Okay, go ahead and release the stretch. And go 
excuse me, I say go ahead too much. We are going to turn over onto our stomachs. So lie down on the mat here. Bring your arms by your sides. And we are going to go up into bow pose. So bend the knees, grab the tops of your feet. Go ahead and lift up. And press your feet into the mat, holding here. Four more breaths. And relax down onto the stomach. Push up into a plank position. Go ahead and walk the feet forwards and get into a squatting position. We're going to get into crow pose and hold for five breaths. If you pop out of the pose during those five breaths, not a big deal. Just take your time and get right back up into the pose, okay? So, hands are on the mat. You've got your knees on the outside of your arms, up on the triceps. I want you to lean forwards here and come up on those big toes. Once you do that, if you're comfortable, go ahead and lift one toe at a time and bring the toes together and hold here. And I fell out, like I said, not a big deal. Slowly get back up in the pose. And five. Okay, great job. Next, we are going to get back into a plank position. So step those feet back. Widen them apart a bit here. Back is flat, glutes are low. Five breaths here. And down into a chaturanga. So elbows close to the sides. Elbows are bent. So you're in a low push up. And slide forwards, upward dog. So you're pressing the tops of the feet down into the mat. Hands are pressed down into the mat as well. Shoulders are down and away from the ears. Push back into downward dog. Use your core and your arms to push the body back. Turning the feet over at the last minute. Arms and legs are straight, back is flat. I want you to, instead of being out here, press your hands down to the mat, which helps angle your head down. Five breaths here. All right, from here, go ahead and step both feet forwards, bring them together, and slowly roll up. Leave the arms dangling. Head is down, tuck your chin into your chest. The head is the last thing to come up. Inhale, bring the arms up over your head, and exhale through the mouth all the way down. Inhale, up to flat back. Hands to your shins, head is up. Exhale, down. Step or jump back into plank. Okay, so regular plank position. We're going to hold for five breaths again here. Chaturanga, low push-up, hold. Exhale, 
Upward dog, slide forwards onto the tops of those feet. Downward dog. Five breaths. All right, look at your hands here and step or jump forwards. Slowly roll up. And inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, just relax the arms down by your sides. All right, I'm going to step back a bit here because we are going to get into warrior three. So right leg is the base leg to begin with. And, okay. So extend the back leg up, keeping the core tight. And once you are balanced, bring those arms forward. And hold here, five breaths. Slowly come out of the pose. Great, great job. Left leg is the base leg this time. You can curl the toes, roll the ankles out if you need to. And go ahead and get back into warrior three. Stand the leg up, arms forwards, five breaths. Take your time here. Again, roll those ankles around, curl the toes if you need to. Feet together, inhale, bring the arms up. And exhale down. Inhale, up to flat back. Exhale down. All right, I would like you to step back with the left leg and lift the body up. We are getting into crescent pose. So make sure you're up on the toes of the back foot. Squeeze the glutes to help keep the back leg straight. Front knee is back, but behind the toes. Go ahead and bring the arms up over the head. Hips are facing forwards. Five breaths here. All right, go ahead and lean forwards. Five breaths. Place the left hand down, twist to the right side of your body, bringing the right hand up. Open the chest, gaze up towards the ceiling. Five breaths here. All right, bring the top hand down. Place it on the mat. Go ahead and step back into a plank position. Look at the hands and step or jump forwards. Slowly roll up. Inhale, bring those arms up over the head. And exhale down. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to your shins, head is up. Exhale down. This time you're going to step back with the right foot. 
and come up into crescent pose. Five breaths. All right, go ahead and lean forwards. Five breaths here. Right hand down on the inside of the front foot. Twist to your left. Left hand comes up. Open up the chest. Gaze up and hold. All right, bring that top hand down. Please sit on the mat here and step back into plank. Okay, go ahead and shift directly back into downward dog. Flip the right leg up. Three-legged dog, five breaths. Right, go ahead and slide forward. You might need to walk the hands forwards a bit. One legged plank, five breaths. Chaturanga into upward dog. Okay, you can bring that foot down, five breaths. Downward dog. We go ahead and flip the left leg up this time. Five breaths here. All right, slide forwards into a one-legged plank. So again, you slide those hands forwards, but backwards. Five breaths. Chaturanga into upward dog. And bring the foot down. Five breaths here. Downward dog, five breaths, hold. All right, downward dog, turn over into wheel. So you're going to start in downward dog, obviously, since we're already here. We're going to start shifting all of your weight onto the right hand. Bring the left foot over. Bring, as you twist the body, you're going to bring the left hand down and then flip the right hand over. Five breaths. Now you're going to flip back over into down dog. Five breaths here. All right, I'm going to shift over this way just a little bit so that I can flip into wheel just in the other direction, but still be on camera. 
Okay, so this time we're going to bring the right foot and right hand up and over. Five breaths. Okay, go ahead and pull it back over here. Back to down dog. And five breaths here. And relax into child's pose. Arms out in front, relax the head down. Knees are apart, big toes are touching. Go ahead and take your time. Slowly sit up. Alrighty. Now I get to lie down on the mat. Lie down on your back here. Okay, so bend your knees here and extend the right leg up. Try to keep the leg straight and then grab it. Doesn't matter where, as long as you try to keep that knee straight. So if going up this high, if your knee starts to bend, go ahead and lower the leg. That's okay. If you need to grab down here as well, that's perfectly fine, okay? So grab the leg and pull it towards your chest and hold here. As you're holding the stretch, you can alternate pointing and flexing the foot. And relax the leg down. Go ahead and bring the left leg up. Same thing here, point and flex as you stretch out the hamstring. And go ahead and relax the leg down. Let's go ahead and open up the hips. So knees are still bent. Bring the outer right ankle to your left knee. Relax your right hip. And grab either your hamstring or your shin. And pull the legs in towards your chest. Release the stretch and switch to the other side. Outer left ankle on the right knee. Relax the left hip. Grab either your hamstring or your shin. Pull those legs in. All right, again, release this stretch. Go ahead and lengthen out the legs and lengthen the arms up over the head. Let me scoot down a little bit so I have enough room. Lengthen out the body, really stretch out the torso and hold for five breaths.
Go ahead and relax. Bring the knees in and slowly sit up. Take your time here so you don't get dizzy. Okay, go ahead and turn and face me on the mat. Cross the legs. Let's go ahead and get into lotus pose. So bring the left foot and place it up onto the right thigh, almost into the crevice of the hip. You have your triangle here between the legs, and of course, as I brought my leg up, my foot slid out of the crevice, and that's okay. It's making the triangle bigger, which makes it easier for us to bring the right foot through. So, once you get that right foot through, go ahead and sit up nice and tall, and we're going to hold here for five breaths. Switch to the other side. So I'm going to bring my right foot, place it up onto my left thigh, bring the leg up, make the triangle, take the left foot, bring it through the triangle, and hold for five breaths. crossing the legs regularly. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing here. Bring the arms behind the back. Clasp your hands together. Really roll the shoulders back and down as you open up the chest. Head is up. Hold here for five breaths. Go ahead and turn forwards again and bring the arms to the front. Lace the palms, not the palms, lace your fingers together, palms out. Go ahead and lengthen out those arms as you round your back forwards. Five breaths. Relax the arms down. Let's go ahead and inhale through the nose. Bring those arms all the way up. And exhale down. Open that mouth. Again, inhale all the way up. And exhale down. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. All right, I hope you enjoyed this short routine. I hope you can still see because it has gotten a lot darker outside, but well, let me check real quick. Let me check through the camera lens. Okay, it's darker, but I think you can still see. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the routine. It was fast paced and definitely challenged my muscles. I hope it challenged yours as well. And I hope you feel great from all that deep inhaling and exhaling. I kind of feel rejuvenated now. I hope you have a great weekend as well, and I will see you guys on Monday.